What would a holiday show be without a little bubbly? Here with the goods is champagne expert Davis Anderson. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me, Michelle. All right, I am very excited because I never open the champagne bottle. I always hand it to my husband, but you're going to show me how to do it properly. Absolutely. So the first thing is to make sure that your bottle has been chilled to about 50 degrees. If you don't have your bottle cold already, the best thing would be to get it into a bucket with just about a third of ice. Leave it there for about 15 to 20 minutes. If somebody gives you a bottle of the champagne as a gift, um, do you have to keep it in the refrigerator until you're ready to open it or can you put it I would keep it off to the side somewhere that's temperature controlled, okay. kept on its side like you would any other bottle of wine. Right. And then just before you're ready to serve it, throw it in the fridge for a couple of hours. If you leave it in there too long, the cork can actually dry out. All right. Okay, so let's get this. You show me how to do this. So you're going to remove the foil from the top of the bottle. Mm -hmm. And then once you've done that, make sure your thumb stays on top of the cage. Don't take the cage completely off. You're going to loosen it here. Okay. Because keeping the cage on will make it easier for you to actually take the cork out. Okay, you because twist. you never want to take anyone's eye out with Exactly. This. You want to okay. make sure this isn't pointed towards anyone you like. Okay. <laughs> Maybe someone you don't. <laughs> Maybe. So you twist the bottom of the bottle, not the cork itself. Your thumb is really there to keep it from coming out too fast because you don't want a loud pop. Okay. That allows the bubbles to escape too quickly and you really want to keep that for as long as humanly possible. So you get that nice soft little sigh there. I think that was perfect. Thank you. I've been doing okay. this a little while. I know. You have. You have been doing this. Um, so there is a proper way to toast as well. There is indeed. First, we're going to get it into our white wine glasses, which we prefer to a flute in champagne. Mm -hmm. Because with a flute, while it will preserve the bubbles for longer, you don't really get to enjoy the aromas and all of the nuances of the champagne itself. So with a white wine glass, you can really be able to get in there, enjoy everything that the uh, champagne has to offer. Okay, sounds good. All right. You want to make sure you hold the glass by the stem, never by the, bo never by the body of the glass, right. because that way you'll warm up too quickly. Okay. And then you want to make sure you toast by hitting the actual body of the glass, never the lip, because that's where the glass is actually the weakest. Oh, okay. So you have to have that nice little clink. Exactly. Let's nice little clink. Cheers. Look at each other's hands. Cheers. Ooh, I like that. And then we drink. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Which is wonderful. Always we, perfect. We have to mention the brand of the of the champagne, of course, you brought. Moet and Chandon, of course, the most, the Imperial Brut, the most famous and most beloved champagne in the entire world. Okay, yes, that's very true, very popular. Okay, so tell us about this drink that you're going to make, and you're going to do it quickly. Absolutely. So we are going to make a cocktail that Moet and Chandon has partnered with Nell Diamond to create. Mm -hmm. She has Hill House Homes Goodwares. So we're just going to take a couple dashes of pomegranate juice, we have a nice little Pop Rocks candy rim here to keep things festive. And then we just pour about four and a half ounces of champagne over top from our festive Art de Vivre bottle. This is our limited edition bottle for December, celebrating the art of French living. You'll find all sorts of beautiful images on it from the Eiffel Tower to the Louvre. Wow, this is wonderful. And I love Pop Rocks. <laughs> Makes everything fun, it's right? So cool. Brings you back to your childhood it and your does. adulthood all in one moment. All in one moment. Okay, there we go. The cheers. Cheers. This is kind of, we didn't really get the clink, but yeah. it's okay. It's because of the I pop think the rocks. pop rocks are getting in the way. Yeah, but we'll taste this. Mm. I love it. So great. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for having me. Thank you for teaching me how to open up this bottle. It's awesome. And I can. Here are the Pop Rocks. All right, be sure to check out Moet's Facebook page and follow them on Instagram. And that is all for this show. On behalf of all of the crew and myself here at Bay Area Focus, have a joyous holiday and a happy new year.